Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Gedlan, and we have a bit of a lipstick party going on in this one. I grabbed four of their brand new lipsticks. We've got some matte and satin in there, okay? I'm going to be trying each one on for your course. I'm gonna be swatching them as well. I have a new lipstick case as well. And I'm gonna be trying out their latest uh, Healthy Glow uh, powder in Super Bloom. So we've got some stuff to get into and I'll be patching up the rest of my face with other Gedlan products. So if you wanna see what this face is all about, what this lipstick is I have on and what this super cute thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before I jump into this Get Lan video, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm rocking our black boho headband, okay? Easy, easy headband, super wide. It is a wide one so you can scrunch it to be more narrow or make it wider. They come in so many colors and talk about flying off the shelf. People are loving these headbands. Uh, this is one of our top sellers right now. They're absolutely loving these headbands and um, I can't get enough of them either, either. So you see me typically in the head wrap, we have them in a headband style too. Same fabric, slight sheen, okay? And a nice amount of stretch. So it will accommodate a lot of different hair sizes and head sizes, all right? If you wanna check out any of our boho headbands, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will always be in the description and somewhere up here. Okay guys, so. I was minding my business. I was on my discounter looking for something and I saw the Gedlan section and saw the lipsticks looked a little propped up and I was like, huh, do they have new lipsticks out? And then I, it triggered a memory. I was like, wait, I think I saw a picture of new lipsticks coming out. When you're in this beauty world and you're doing videos and you follow accounts, you're seeing constant uh, beauty content, what's coming up. And so it just triggered a memory and I went to a Meet Beauty talk. That is her Instagram page. Page I follow. She always comes through with what's coming up. So Amit, A-M-I-T, beauty talk. And I saw the pictures and I was like, yes, I knew it. So I went back and I was looking at the lipsticks and they came out with 40 lipsticks. Get on, just released 40 lipsticks. So we have lots of satins and we have a lot of um, uh, velvets, okay? Velvets or mattes. Velvets is how it, um, it would have said to me. And so I've talked about it before, how much I love their lipsticks and this turn and get on and these new formulas are fantastic. So I grabbed four, okay? And I wouldn't have grabbed four if I didn't get a severe discount. And this wasn't even really on my radar. And I saw it and I said, I can't pass up. They also released some new lipstick cases. Only one caught my eye and just one because get on, love them, God love them. But they, for me, can get a little tacky sometimes, okay? They can be a little tacky. So I pick and choose which Kelan things I want. So one caught my eye and I got that. And then I finally am gonna get a chance to dig into this Super Bloom. I've had it for a while and I was trying to fit it into videos and I was like, eh. Super Bloom uh, powder that we're gonna get into as well. So let me show you everything now then we can start putting them on. So here is the Super Bloom Sun Kiss Healthy Glow Powder. Excited to try this on in just a second. The shade, I know, doesn't look like it's a shade that would fit me, but I'll show you the other one that I absolutely adore. I love these products. I look forward to them now every year to see what they'll do, and I'll tell you how I use them in a second. Up uh, Rouge G Satin Le Beige Praline. I have Le Brun Intense uh, Satin. I have Le Tanka Halle, which is a velvet. And then I have Le Nude Intense, which is a satin. And here's the case that I got. I'll compare them to the other ones like this. This is the faux leather case. Um, the other two I have like this. Camel is a color uh, in life, right? In life, in fashion, and in, in just, uh, it always is like luxury to me. That's a color that always screams luxury, Camel. Um, so that's where we are. So I started my face already, but there are a couple of things I still need to do. So I'm gonna start with the eyes and then I'm going to get the rest of my face where it fits in, but it'll be the eyes and then we can get to the cheeks. But I'm gonna use my beloved Wild Nude super duper simple look. I just want a little something on the eyes right now. So we'll zoom through that.
So eyes done, super simple. Okay, I was gonna go into the face powder, but I want to put um highlighter on before I before I put the um the powder on. This is the terracotta nude from uh, Guerlain. This is like one of those clutch products that you know goes well with whatever you've got going on. Nice sophisticated um glow. Um, just one of those nice ones to have in your collection to kind of, you know, an easy, an easy buildable glow going on. Okay. Super simple. Super simple. Mm. This is a perfect time to remind you guys that everything that I'm wearing on my face right now, like I said, I started the video. There's a few products already on. So things that um, are featured, things that aren't featured will always be in the description below. Okay. There will be some affiliate links. Um, and I know you guys have lots of options, all right? Um, I can completely appreciate that. If you want to support me, if you want to support my channel, that's one way of doing it. You can use one of my links if you're going to buy something anyway. Um, you don't see it, you can reach out to me. Typically, because of my audience, I put a lot of, um, US mostly and, um, UK and, and Europe. If you're somewhere else, so you don't even see it in UK and Europe, and you want to support me, you can always reach out and I, I will see if there's a link to send you. Okay, so yes, another way is to let the ads run when I have a video uh, going. Just let them run out. And um, yeah, that's very, very, very helpful. Um, I, you know, you always, when you do videos, you think about how long you're going to be doing them. And I don't know, I might get bored at some point and stop or do fewer we'll see um thankfully because i'm not paying full price for most at this point most everything that i have on my channel it, it makes it easier than doing it you know if i was paying full price for all these things you wouldn't see a lot of these videos i know from the beginning i, I started it one of the reasons obviously was my business but the other one was to um uh i didn't see brown people brown women doing videos that I wanted to see, the products that I was interested in. And so over the years, that's kind of what's kept me going. I still get comments to this day about, um, you know, people are thankful, women are thankful that I'm doing like these luxury products. And and so I'm happy to do them. Tr trust me, I'm happy. If I wasn't happy or if it doesn't interest me, I'm not going to do it. So yeah, we'll see. You never know what the future brings, right? You never know. We've got our highlighter on. Let's get to this Powder. Okay, so just a reminder, this is the Super Bloom Sunkiss Healthy Glow Powder. Now these come out every year, my beloved. I use this, oh, this is my baby. Flower Blossom, okay? Flower Blossom is another one and from a couple of years ago. And this one is Super Bloom. I also have the Leopard that they came out with last year. So I like collecting these. The way I love to use Flower um, Power, is it Flower Power? Because I'm making them names. Flower Blossom, see? Flower Blossom is a finishing powder. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful finishing powder. The colors in there are really, really light and over my skin tone, it's perfect. Um, they usually use, right? I think it's the, usually the same color um, bronzer from them that they use three, five, four, I forget the number right now, but it's typically the same shade. It would be so nice, it really would, if they chose a different shade or they um, at least, um, had more than one, but they always do like this lighter shade. Now, sometimes that, that leopard one, I can get away with as a bronzer. I can. Even this one, I'm trying to get the brown part for you guys, is darker than my skin tone, okay? So this is the brown part, but that's not how I'm gonna wear it. Let's be very clear. I'm going to try this now. I wanna try this as a blush. I, I think this color, these colors are the most vibrant that I have from them in terms of this product so far. So I was like, huh, let's see if I can make this work as a blush. If not, then I always have the option to, um, to um, wear it as an all over powder. The other thing I wanna see is if this color is going to come off immediately. We'll check back in in a second when I go to get this color. Um, you see it on here, we've got the color off of here. So let's try this. Yep, quick and to the point. The color was too vibrant. I said, there's really no way. The only way it wouldn't work is if it, you know, the color falls off after you swipe it or swatch it. Beautiful. 
It's staying on, guys. Now, it, lo it loses the glossy, that glossy kind of uh, finish on it. That part goes, but the color is still in the palette, okay? Now, let's be very clear. The gloss helped uh, in terms of it gave it a little more shine, but the color is showing up on me. I don't know how much darker than me this would work as a, a blush. But again, for me as a finishing powder, I love these things. It's just really pretty and it gets the whole face together. And the color is um, light enough that it doesn't, you know, doesn't get overwhelming at all. Oh, I'm glad that I can wear this one as a blush. And it's it's picking up the gold. It's like, it looks like a, almost like a goldy. Oh, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty, guys. Okay. So my cheeks are done. I'm excited about that. Excited. I was going to put on the, um, I was going to put on the Meteori, but I think... Let's just go in with the rest of the face. We'll use it now. Use this as a now that I got it concentrated on the the cheeks. Let's just kind of use it as an all over powder to kind of bring it together. I'm not gonna do too much so that it's it's rivaling the cheeks because we're about to get to these um these uh lips. So I love this product. Okay. Got it here, got it here. We're done with the cheeks. Another winner product. Like I said, at least for me, I know how I can wear it. It's not gonna be a bronzer, but for this, these colors works beautifully as a blush. And I always say I love a multi-purpose product. So what, there's a piece of brush hair that's in my eye side, guys. Whee, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yes, this one has enough color for me to, to wear it as a blush as well. So I got I have a couple of options here. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, Le Nude Intense 03. Gelan is one of those brands where the numbers oftentimes help um, get the right one. I'm going to swatch this for you guys. This did not look this red in the pictures. Um, I'm not a red person per se. So it's still a shade that I'm trying to tell myself is a little more berry. There's a berryness to it. So I'm going to start with this. This is nude. Just be aware of those pictures. I'm, I'm pretty good with pictures. And other than the deep brown one, the other two don't look how the pictures look or even the names for some of them. If we're going by the, um, the pictures on the box, I forgot to tell you the pictures do have this on the box. This outside the light looks more brownie red and I'm hoping that's how it wears, but the actual pictures on the model didn't give me red on mine, this red anyway. So anyway, let's get this one on now. Okay guys, so this one, uh, a pleasant, pleasant surprise. I checked it off camera, took some pictures, and this one, like I thought, on camera, it's looking, under these lights, it's looking more red, but it does have a berryness to it. There is like a almost purpley berry hue in it on me. Can only speak to my lips, on me. So it's a reddish berry color, and it makes it a red that becomes really wearable for me. If you've watched my videos, if you've been around for a while, you know in words and in action, I am not a red person. You don't see me in them very often. So, um, but this one, it just toes that beautiful line where it's a red berry. And because it's satin, it's not as saturated as their velvet lipsticks. And it wears beautifully. There's no sinking into my lines. And it has the most, um, I think, just a beautiful, understated shine to it. It's not too, some, some satins can get really glossy. This is not doing that on me. It has a really subtle, beautiful, beautiful shine. It's sitting on the lips beautifully. No singing in as I'm looking at it. Really, really nice formula um, from these satins. I do have a couple of satins from them, so I'm not shocked about the formula, but this red, this color surprised me. So if you're like me and you're not a red person, just know this one might be for you, okay? There is a berryness to it, and this is what I'll continue to wear. I feel comfortable in it, 
and I think it looks really good on my skin tone as well. So again, this one is Rouge G Satin Le Nude Intense 03. Just a heads up about those pictures, okay? They might be slightly, slightly misleading. Again, even the color on the box looks more brownie than it. Um, I think it wears on me. Um, and it swatches for sure. So just, just beware, but I hope this video is helpful in that regard. So this is a perfect time to remind you guys of two things. This, this uh, video is going to be getting a blog from me. So buybreemore.com is my blog. My last video for Westman Atelier, that blog is up um, already. So like if you wanna see the most pictures, um, they're going to be on my blog when I dedicate a blog to it. I will tell you guys when I'm dedicating a beauty video uh, uh, to a spot in my blog. This one's going to be there for Guilan. So I will have the most pictures there. I will have, um, the, the swatches. Um, I will have obviously pictures on me. There'll be more pictures on me of the products. I'll have swatches and I'll try to give you some comparison swatches as well in the light from other Guilan lipsticks that I have. Okay. So come visit me, buybreemore.com. This should be up the day that this video goes live, the blog, or the day after, okay? The latest will be the day after, and the link will be in uh, the description or up here somewhere, so bribrymore.com. Okay, so this one looks pretty straightforward. This is, I'm expecting chocolate brown on me, but I'm excited to see it in this finish. So let me get this on now. Okay, guys, now let's look at this case, okay? So this is Rouge Le Camel. Camel, okay? This is the camel color. Beautiful. It, it too has the, I'm glad they started doing this. This is really good if you shop in store um, to kind of gauge. I actually think this is pretty faithful to the color inside this one. But then I'm looking at the other two that I have and they have switched it up. Okay, so I have the Dusty Rose one here. But this one, this was out, I wanna say fall. Was this fall, last year, uh, the fall collection? It has Guerlain there. They decided to take the name off of the case in this one, so it doesn't exist. Also, a change. This one has a little bit of gloss on it. This is incredibly uh, matte, okay? So this one is different. The texture's a little bit more, it's giving, it's giving uh, just, just like a raw leather. It's really, really nice though. So they changed it up. So this is the Dusty Rose one I have. And then here is the, uh, I don't remember the name of it, y'all. I don't remember what they called it, but it's the dark chocolate, I'll call it, uh, color here. And then the camel. I'll even throw these pictures into the blog as well um, so you can see them next to each other uh, compared. So just wanted to show you. So here's the new one, camel. And inside I have the next lipstick we're going to try on, which is Le Beige Praline 131. I don't think I told you the number, did I, guys, did I tell you the number, guys, of the last one? Le Brun Intense is 19, satin. Now this is satin, Le Beige Praline 131. Now this is the second time this has happened. The tip on a lipstick from Get Along, what happened to the Get Along? Um, gets messed up in transit. Uh-huh. So this is Le Beige Praline. So we know we're looking for, right? Like a, a brownie, brownie. They're saying beige. It's going to be like a brownie pink. Here's the color on the box. You can be the judge. I think the box pictures are really, really good. I think they're pretty, they're pretty faithful. Okay. Um, so let me get Le Beige Praline on now. This one, maybe this one will need a lip, lip pencil. I don't know, let's see. Okay, so this one is a little light on me on camera. I went and looked in the natural light and I'm happy to report I really, really like it. It's a very pretty nude on me. Um, Maybe slight sinking into lines. This color is 
These beigey browns for me, because I do have pigmented lips, um, are tricky, okay? They are tricky on me. So there's, but I actually, hmm, when I run my finger across it, it always improves. So it's not that, trust me, I have worse than, than this. Some, some favorite brand, this color just does not work on me. But this looks nice and um, I'm enjoying it. But I do think I want to see it with a lip pencil. So let's try a lip pencil on right now um, because on camera it looks like, it does look like a nice, easy, like a peachy nude on me. So I can leave it like this, but certainly wear a pencil too. So let's get this pencil on. And now we're gonna end it with the Velvet Beauty here. This one is Le Tanka Hale. That's how I'm pronouncing it, God. Oh, and the number is 539. Okay, they have a beautiful, oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's giving orange. I don't know if it's showing more red here. It's giving me like a, oh, a brownie orange. This is completely my shape. The other Tonka I have from them, I don't know where it is right now, I'll have it again. I'll attach those pictures for sure in the blog. Um, the, the other Tonka is one of my favorite lipsticks. So I was like Tonka. And then Prada, Prada has a Tonka as well that I'm obsessed with. So anytime there's Tonka, Tonka seems to get along with me really, really well. Excited to get this velvet on. And it's a nice creamy one at that. Let me try this on now. Guys, I don't like choosing favorites, especially when I'm just new to a product because things change. And I really do love all of these. But um, this one is such an interesting shade to me. Uh, it is, it's like a orangey brown and it's so different from the other Tonkas. So I'm glad they played around and didn't make it like a, a pinky color that I, like I just told you guys, Tonka, I'm here for it. So this one, has this beautiful orangey brown. Oh, it's so good, God. See now, I may not be a red person. I would prefer an orange. So this to me still gives me a nice little burst of color, but I'm more orange or berry, purpley berry shades. This orange, so good. And their velvet is just mm, mm, mm. beautiful, beautiful formula. No sinking in, really nice saturation on this one. Oh, it's, listen, if you have not been to the world of Gelada and their new lipstick formulas, I really do recommend them. I think that they're beautiful. Um, I, they work really well on me. Again, the amount of lipsticks that they just released, okay? There are a lot of them. So yeah, guys, just a beautiful, beautiful job with these lipsticks, with these shades. Again, there's something, there's gonna be something there for everyone and you'll probably be able to find something in each formula. Um, I think, uh, I'm just, I'm just really happy with all four of them. You never know. And I said, like I said, the pictures on the models, I think that this is, did I show you, um, Tonka? I think the colors are pretty faithful to, to the box. This one actually looks more faithful on me than it does on the box, but I think they're pretty, they're pretty good. The models, just be aware, you know, you know, they may not be a hundred percent match. So if you're fine with the general category, they have them broken down, like the berries, the reds, uh, the brownie, the nudie colors. So if you're fine in that family, then you'll probably be okay. But I think they're really, really beautiful. And I, I'm really, ha I'm happy to have all four. Again, in my blog, you'll see lots of pictures. A few days from now, um, you will see some pictures on Instagram. Links of both places will be in the description below. And now it's over to you, okay? You have to let me know if this collection interests you. Um, the lip collection. Are you a fan of Gelan lipsticks? Are you a fan of this velvet um, formula? 
Let me know what you're thinking. If any of these interest you, if you have any other colors, um, do you like their lipstick cases? Let me know all those things. And how do you feel about the super bloom? Do you get, do you, I'm sort of collecting them now. Um, do you, do you like those products? If you're brown, my shade or deeper, are you interested in a product that's just like a finished thing or do you need it to be, if it's like based in a bronzer, you want it to be able to bronze your face? I'm curious about all those things. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate it when you do. And of course, if you want to check out any of our boho headbands, any of our t-shirt, hair towel, wrap, set line, beanie, set line, knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezytea.com. My husband just told me we were just featured again in BuzzFeed. I just found that out, so that's exciting. For any of our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at framebybreezytea.com. Uh, that's it. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.